Welcome back. 10-year-old Ave Maria Lesh has made her hobby something a little bit more than making some money. Her ambition to start her own small business turned into a labor of love and a mission that took her and her mom halfway around the globe. Eyewitness News reporter Thomas Battle has tonight's Here's to You, Kid, from Harvey's Lake and beyond. Most 10-year-olds are not busy thinking about running a business or getting involved in a humanitarian effort for people across the globe. But that isn't the case for Avi Maria. She is on a mission, and it has become a labor of love and hope for her and her mom, raising money and collecting donations for the people in Ukraine. We've been planning it like since like a month ago, maybe, and I'm really excited about it. <laughs> We've been selling uh, bracelets, and my mom's been working on making a GoFundMe that's going to go live um, as soon as we land the plane when we get to Krakow. Um, and we've just making custom orders, Ukraine orders, and all that. This all started a few months ago with a lemonade stand where Ave Maria also sold crafts. It quickly turned into a much larger project. I just wanted to like sell bracelets as like something fun, and then my mom, um, she found out this mom and her daughter were going there, and she wanted to do it as well. So so we started selling the bracelets to go to that fundraiser. The money they made by selling bracelets went towards helping their efforts in Ukraine. Ave Maria refers to the project as Wandering Goose, a nickname her mom gave her when she was a little girl. Her mom saying Wandering Goose is Ava herself and all their travels, projects, loves, and musings. We're going with, you know, a little bit of uh, donation money to start off with so that we could kind of hit the ground running as soon as we get there. And, uh, and then there'll be a, a GoFundMe, like I said, so that that way people can also donate uh, while we're there. Ave Maria and Deanna traveled to Poland in July. They shared these pictures with Eyewitness News. While they were in Krakow, they were very busy. The mom and daughter visited local shelters to drop off supplies and donations and offered their support and help to people. They helped Polish language school JCC Krakow and a shelter currently housing 40 refugee families. While we're there, we're going to be shopping for um, more like supplies and more stuff that they need while we're there in Krakow. And a lot of people, it seems like they want to help, but they just don't know who to send it to or what it's going to be used for. They hope that this trip will inspire others to help those in Ukraine as well. Thomas Battle, 2822 Eyewitness News. And if you have a kid we should feature on our Here's to You Kid segment, send us an email here at the station. It is here's to you kid at pahomepage.com.